What's up, dudes and dudettes? This is Noel on PC. We're playing some Pokemon Go today. Uh, I wanted to give you this, I guess it's like a cheat video. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick, like, how to play Pokemon Go from your computer kind of thing. Because I have a, a unique problem to me, and that is I live in fucking Canada. And in Canada, the way this game worked is that it borrowed data from a previous game, and unless a lot of people played that previous game and geocached your area, your area might be rather devoid of Pokestops. I think it was also a combination of Google Maps, right? So you'll notice if I do a lap here, there's no fucking Pokestops. Also, this is not my actual area. <laughs> I, I, I walked a little bit and I found an area about 10, 15 kilometers away from my area that looked exactly the same. One gym, one Pokestop, and I thought this is the perfect place to make this video. So what this is, this is not a cracked version of the game, by the way. This is not a, a fake Pokemon Go Plus game. This is just, this is a legitimate version of the game. So I'm going to put all the steps in the description, literal step-by-step -step things, and a couple of little problems I had. Um, but again, this is really, really simple. One tiny download of the Bluestacks emulator, and then just running Pokemon Go from its own sort of internal app store. Uh, I think I can show you. Yeah, Pokemon Go as recently played. It'll it'll probably be, yeah, it'll be right in the top trending app, but you'll notice it's not Plus. It's it's the legitimate version of Pokemon Go. Oh, I hate this part. This whole thing is annoying as fuck. Nope, okay. That came up so short. The, the mouse has no tactile feel, really, so every throw is almost unique. <laughs> it's, it's really tricky. The throws are really difficult, but since you can just run around really fast, you're going to have tons of Pokeballs, you're going to have tons of Pokemon. This is a great method for having it on an alternate account. I should segue into that as my next talking point here. Do not do this on your main account, because you never know what's going to happen, right? Like, if they actually figured out that I was cheating on this account, or watched this video and said, your account is gone, banned, Mr. I kept trying to put in usernames that were like similar to the ones I've used in the past, and it said everything I was trying to do was taken. So I was like, is it bugged? So I just put in a bunch of gibberish, and it was like, congratulations, welcome to the game. And I was like, fuck, I guess that's my username now. <laughs> they want to do um, Pokemon trading in the future, so that's one of the reasons I'm doing this, is there's going to be a few Pokemon that are, they, they have said, regionally specific Pokemon. Oh, fuck off. Come on. This is another thing. The, the spinning technique is really just awful. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Also, don't try and locate where the Harvest of Giants is. This is nowhere near my house. It's like 30, 40 kilometers away from my house. 20, 20 15, 25. There we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that flip mechanic is annoying. There is a way to configure a swipe. So you could literally... I think that would work. If you did swipe left and right as like Q and E or something like that, you might be able to just... Let's do it. Let's do Z. Confirm. Okay, okay. swipe. Right? Oh, no, and swipe. Swipe left. Let's just try this. Shave. Nope, that did not work. Okay. Uh, other talking points. Uh, I had problems with the keyboard initially, so if you have problems with your keyboard, just go into settings, go input, uh, language and input, and then, oh shit, sorry. And make sure under keyboards and input methods uh, that I think all I did was I double clicked this and then I went hardware physical keyboard on, I think, or something like that. Anyways, that's probably the problem. If you're having issues with input, WASD not working, just double check this, maybe restart the app. You know the drill. So again, this is a great way to, I'm just, I'm just gonna run a little bit here. I'm holding uh, shift for sprint. And I'm just gonna run south a little bit here. See, this is about the max speed, right? The Google, was it Pokemon Go Plus? Yeah, Pokemon Go Plus has methods for like, you can travel like thousands of miles an hour, but that's just too much cheating. 
right? It has a thing where you can like instantly throw balls perfect every time. It's too much cheating. I think there's even versions of the cracked game that lets you just dump Pokemon into your Pokedex like at will. So like, where's the fun in that? At least this is keeping an element of explorative nature. I'm actually having to go out and do the work. Like this is really, so we're running like 20 kilometers an hour. So if you wanted to get across town, it could take you like a fucking hour, right? So we're cheating, but we're not like really cheating. We're just kind of cheating, right? So if you're like me, maybe you live in a really rural area with nothing around or you're bed bound. I mean, there's a lot of people that are like, you know, they got Lou Gehrig's and they literally are lupus and they've, they've got two weeks on their back. Who, who knows? Who knows what your situation is? But there's a lot of situations where people just can't get out or their area is so limited that even if they go out, all they can do is run into Pokemon. But there's no Pokestops. So they can't get Pokeballs. And they're not going to throw $5 a week into Pokeballs just to catch a fucking Squirtle, you know? So this is a perfect alternative for you, especially if you're willing to attach your real account. You could park this version in San Francisco just to get Pokeballs and then play your legitimate version uh, from the comforts of wherever you live, London, Toronto, LA, right? So guys, I, I hope this helps. Um, I hope you're not exploiting hardcore with Pokemon Go Plus Plus. That's too much cheating. But this is like just, just the right level of cheating. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you comment. I hope you share the shit out of it on your Facebook and your Twitter and whatnot, just to get this out there that there is an option that is safe right? There's no viruses. I've already run this through Norton Nanner's anti-security like crazy. There's no janky shit that you're going to run into with this method because it's rather legitimate. Um, so yeah, guys, until next time, peace, love, catch them all.